And now, then you can cover so many things. One thing that is nice against Samus is being able to build a wall and not have to deal with those projectiles. Exactly. So Samus' deep matchup is really this interesting. This looks like a butt Yeah, check. they're just butt checking. Okay. <laughs> I like that Sever made his tag timeout. <laughs> he said, "He said I'm, I'm more than happy to take this one at a time. And this, it, uh, yeah, I mean, this matchup, depending on how the players want to play it, could go for quite a while. We could be here. This could be the last set that we commentate until 530. Yep. <laughs> hope not. I sure hope not, too. There's only so much Steve my body can take. Yeah, fair enough. They nerfed that victory screen. Yeah, that was very strange. All right, so we got Steve, and Steve versus Samus. So they are going to town and city. They definitely struck here. Yeah. Nobody says, hey, can we gentlemen Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I guess so I, both I, characters yeah. just really like having all this room. They want space, exactly. Yeah. Like, Steve wants to sit on his side of the stage. He wants to get diamond, and then he wants to play the game. Yep. And, like, Sam wants to get a charge shot. But, again, you have to figure out a way to, like... You're never going to beat Steve if you just let him get diamond. He's and too unfair with We diamond. saw the first, so the first option that Sever chose to get the blocks out of the way was up to up tilt. Yeah. Um, so now Chris is going to be looking out for that. And you just, you have to mix up the ways that you break the blocks because otherwise Steve is going to start calling you out. Um, but you also need safe ways to break the blocks. And it's, now he's able to use this town and city platform and just like have some room to maneuver above. Yeah. But again, he can't just go, like he can't get on top of him. And yeah. there's our first bit of diamond. So he can't make his, uh, his sword yet or his pickaxe, but again, like this just, there is no pressure here on Chris to actually go fight Seven. He doesn't need yes. to. Like he can just sit there and, and, and get diamond. And there it is. And now he's ready. Like now, or alternatively, you can I just could keep mine mining. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, it's interesting because this is such an, like, this stage changes so much with time. Yeah. Sometimes you have a lot of space and maneuverability to get around the blocks and get around Steve. Sometimes in uh, in a setup like this with the platforms, I mean, it's so much harder. Yeah, I mean, right now you're basically just playing budget FD, right? Yep. Okay, Diamond is broken. This is when, surely this is when Sever can go in. Oh, wait, there's a wall there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, luckily that wall was almost gone already, but it still did its job in keeping Sever from getting a punish. Now, using Very that nice. So that's, so that's, this is going to be where Sever has to make his money in the matchup is every time Chris goes to ledge. He has to be either killing him or doing like 50. Um, if this is how neutral is going to play out, like he needs to make the most of these ledge opportunities. And right there, he was able to close out a stock. Speaking of ledge Checkmate. opportunities, that setup is crazy. Pac-Man and Steve are like, there's only a few. Uh, okay. I saw like two untackables. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw the Crimson Flash. I don't know why Sever's alive, but he is. Yeah, he hit the... Um, Minecart gonna take it. Yeah. That platform really just saved him. And this now looks, we have a big lead. Yeah, this is this looks rough for Sever. He just... I feel like he just doesn't have a, the buttons to, like, force Steve out of his comfort zone. Which is shocking to see, because, again, Sever is seated to make top 12 today. Yeah. Um, this would be a pretty big upset this if he's not able to figure upset. out exactly. a way to play around Steve here. Is it time to ban Steve? Yeah, let's give it a bit longer. Yeah, let's see once, if Chris uh, once the, if the Chris kid calls, from... If Chris calls us out, we got to get Steve yeah. out here. I don't know, yeah. Once once the kid from Japan, Ecola, starts traveling, I think it's just going to be over. That was that. a sick setup. Oh, yeah. Sever, that's twice now that he's been able to combo that the down B into uh, Aya Kill at ledge. And, and I was about to say, oh, hey, suddenly the lead isn't that big anymore, but... Chris able to get a huge conversion with a lot of damage right after. Yeah, you get touched. You get touched twice by diamond. You take like forty. It's crazy how much damage. Like Steve's damage output is just ridiculous. And that minecart, I feel like he just hasn't really used minecart that much, just in neutral. So now in the last stock situation, being able to throw that's it out, ridiculous. I mean, I, I don't know what just happened crazy. on this. I don't know what just happened on the screen, <laughs> but it's like you've got Pac-Man and Steve, and they've just got these setups where if they're given enough time, you just. You're just dead. You don't get good options. It was a lot options. of nonsense. Exactly. You just get. You're, there's no option. I don't. He couldn't have jumped. He couldn't have dropped. He couldn't have rolled. He just died because because Chris had enough time to set up his ledge trap. And Samus in most matchups has pretty good ledge options. I yeah. mean, every Samus will fare off ledge, for example. I mean, yeah. If you're playing um, online, that's just to be expected. But yeah. I mean, even Sever, who's like obviously extremely talented playing offline. Yes. He still gets like he gets so many options. He's got a great jump. His ledge roll isn't that bad. Because Samus has the, these good options, but they're not like mobility options that will get you around those setups. Exactly. I don't think anyone has mobility options to get you around whatever Chris just did at the end of that I last mean, game. Maybe characters with like flip kick type moves yeah. or like teleports, perhaps. Um, there are definitely ways to get around it, but it's it's definitely character dependent. 
And if I you get I, called up. I will say, Sever is doing a much better job so far of being able to pressure Chris yeah. inside this wide. I wonder if maybe there was some stage uncomfort or discomfort on Town and City. Yeah, he gave Chris so much space. Yeah. It, it almost feels like maybe they struck and Chris knew Sever was going to play Samus and Samus maybe didn't know Chris was going to play Steve yeah. because giving Steve so much room just doesn't feel like a good idea. I will say, in the last game, every time that uh, Sever approached, he was getting hit by Minecart, and yep. he hasn't yet this game. Yes. Okay, well. I need to shut my <laughs> mouth, because that's... That's always how it goes. And the suddenly... And now we've got TNT back on ledge, able to get away from it this time. But Yeah, he saw that Chris was crafting. He was like, okay, yeah. well, if you're not going to detonate the TNT, then I'm just going to get up to tag you. How do you get through this wall? The, Samus, the, the tools, I remember I saw a clip of a Samus in Japan who was trying to zare the wall and they just, you couldn't break yeah, the wall. Yeah, you don't. It just doesn't work. That's just not a good option. I mean, we've seen several use up tilt, dash attack, a few other options to get around it. Um, but he's definitely struggled up throw. There you go. Samus, they gave Samus a kill throw in this game. I'm, happy. Sure I'm happy for her. Yeah. You know? Samus is cool. Like. I'm gonna be honest, Samus, Samus is a cool character. I think it depends a lot on the Samus. But, yeah. you know, Samus well, is definitely mean, like, a cool player to watch. You know, the, the, the character yes. is cool, you know? Oh, yeah. It can be extremely frustrating to play against, and I don't enjoy playing against it, but it's, it's a cool character. Mm -hmm. Right now, just trying to drop these bombs. I mean, so Chris is playing space Tetris around with that. himself. He yeah. built the two walls. It's just. The, I, Samus dash attack the, the, the start of a minecart. And, okay, there was an interesting interaction there where Sever had the charge shot, and Chris had those two blocks just set up, like, right yeah. at short hop height. And normally, Samus is a character that wants to catch you short hopping by, like, by, yeah, doing a jump exactly. charge shot, but that option is just taken away when there's a block in between you just yeah. floating in space. Um, and it really limited what Sever was able to do with that charge shot. I think, yeah, I think ooh, at, like, the, at this, like, at a higher, mid-high level, like, playing against Steve is, is such a, it's a check on, like, how quickly you can yes. adapt. And Sever has been doing a pretty good job adapting, but does get hit by that F-Smash. No, no amount of adaptation is going to stop you from dying when you beat a Diamond F-Smash at 160. Best players in the world get hit by that. Look at that conversion, 60%. That's off an up tilt. That yeah. move is safe, by the way. Oh, yes. Yeah, and see, Chris was able to cover himself with that block that just happened to still be there, and he was yeah. felt totally safe just up being down. Still, Sever's got a like he's got a decently comfortable lead, and he's so good. This is like he is so good at this part of the game. How do you get off the ledge against Samus? Uh huh. You don't. He's just gonna keep eating bombs and then a down smash, and it's like that. If Sever can keep that up, where every time he's putting Chris at ledge, he's killing him. He's got an amazing chance to close this out. Yeah. Still. I love to watch an upset as much as the next guy. Oh, yeah. But we have to be unbiased here on the commentary. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, Sever, I mean, Sever had been playing patiently and... Okay, that was interesting. Sever had been playing patiently and just shooting projectiles from distance. So going in with that dash attack like he did, it, it did work out for him. Um, yeah. Chris, you know, if you Sever, sort of lull Sever Chris likes, to sleep yeah. with these projectiles... Sever's also doing first. a good job of mixing up the tempo, and that's just something we're seeing from these, like, really high-level like high level players that we have, yep. is they're so good at keeping the opponent guessing. Like, am I going in? Am I not going in? Am I going to sit here and charge charge shot, or am I going to run at you with an aggressive option? Uh, he's really keeping Chris on his toes and kind of forcing Steve, who doesn't usually have to play a very honest game, to, like, be much more honest. Yeah. I can't and believe I just said Steve was playing <laughs> honest. I mean, he's still building walls. And he's still, yeah, he's them. definitely <laughs> still cheating, but like more honest cheating. Yeah. You know? I actually don't know. Does uh, does Steve have kill throws? Uh, he has the up throw. Okay, that's probably really high percent. It's yeah, it's like reasonable. Okay. That anvil is definitely that gonna kill you. That anvil kills you so early. Stalin falls. Not my favorite. Game. And game. now, but Chris is definitely loving stall and falls after being able to close out that stock. And like, Jeez. this is still so doable. I mean, we he's saw got earlier, diamonds, he can he's make. got diamond. Chris has, we've seen him already in this game off of an up tilt to 60. Yes. And you are well inside of uh, of kill range for uh, Steve, who has diamond at 60. But I mean, Sever's just been playing around that so hell. Gets oh, hit you're twice at 15, and is at 51. Uh, you're 51. Yeah. One shot shot will close it out. He's not quite in up throw range, so he doesn't like need to be that careful. Yeah. Now I would say you gotta be careful about your yes. shield. You also gotta be careful jumping from it. ledge. Sever able to close it out. Still last stock. Mm -hmm. And Sever was down again. Yes. Like he this is not what you usually expect to see 
from a first round pools match. Like this is this going is to be a game three on Chris's counter pick, which means Steve is going to have a lot more room to work with than in that yeah. last game. Chris, and like, I think that was the biggest difference. Obviously, there was like top player adaptation yeah. to take into account there. Like, Sever clearly made some changes in his game plan that worked out for him in the matchup, but also the stage, I think, played such a big factor in the first game. But now they have to play where Chris wants to play. Yeah. I mean, he can't go back to town because he's yeah. out, which is nice. And you get two bands to try and keep Steve from going from one of it to one of his more polarizing stages. And it looks like... Three. Small battlefield. Smallfield? Okay, interesting. One. So Chris actually choosing to compress the space even more. Um, I think, it might yeah, be a blast I think if, it comes down to, if it comes down to a boxing match, I think Steve is probably favored sure. in a boxing match. It's that mid-range game that Samus is looking to play that yeah. is so deadly. She wants to keep you just a little bit in front of her. Like, yeah. outside of your range, but in her range. Longest, longest grab in the game, definitely looking to make good use of that. You can't grab people through blocks, though. No. So. Unfortunately, that would be nice. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. I play ZSS. I would love to grab Steve through blocks. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, but Steve would also be able to grab people through blocks. Oh, true. I didn't think about that. <laughs> it's a good thing we're not the game devs. Yeah. <laughs> we're just commentating. So, this game, I feel like all of them have kind of started the same way. Yes. Like, Nothing crazy happens, there's no big leads, and it's just Sever doesn't have a consistent way to keep Chris off of materials. But I mean, yeah, he's just he's keeping it even percent wise, and you know, definitely now as a percent lead. I like that. I like that Chris just said, you know what, I'm going high. I'm not messing with the ledge. I've died every time I've gone ledge there. Trapped so many times. Yeah. He, he just said, nope, not, I'm not going to deal with it. If you run over here and Samus up smash works, great, good for you. You know what does work? This anvil. That anvil caught the roll too, and if he neutral get up, he would have caught the neutral get up as well. So that's just a really tough place to be in. And, and now, yep, yeah. up tilt. Chris up a stock. This game three. But here, he doesn't get a choice. He has to deal with a ledge trap. Yep. And that's caught by the he, neutral B. Sever has not dropped one. He literally has not dropped the ledge trap. Just about. Every, I mean, they talk about teasers, ledge traps, and how, like, you get to ledge, you take 50 or you die. It's like Sever's doing just as good of a job right now. Yes. Like, he is playing the ledge perfectly. Mm. And that's, that's the kind of thing where Steve, like, great character. Getting off ledge, I mean, you have minecart to mix things up. Well, you want him to have everything. Well, I, I'm just saying, it, it's one of one of the few issues that he has yeah. sometimes. Yeah, and I, like like a good top player, like Sever is exploiting the, the weaknesses of the character. Like, he knows the matchup, he's played this. Yeah. Like, he is doing like, everything in his power to play to his own character's strength. And a ridiculous strength that Samus has is the ledge trapping. Yep. Tilt seem to be the way that he's dealing with uh, with wall or like with walls too. Yes. Like up tilt, F tilt. And that seems to be working out pretty well for him. I mean, but we are dead even here on second stock. Yeah. Again, just making that too high wall. And he's got a platform over it, covering that little lip so he can't like drop the bomb. This is still could Chris find something with Diamond before he gets put at ledge? Oh and Shever just able to neutral get up shield through all of Chris's nonsense and get an upbeat. That could swing a lot of things here. The upbeat is so good on shield, but I feel like wow. wow. That was Nair. Yeah. Definitely. I think Chris was just trying to get out of range, just running away, and got caught holding back. Yeah. Yeah, that happens a lot. You'll be trying to dash back, get out of range rather than taking something on your shield. Yeah. And you just get caught with your pants down, DIing the wrong way. Oh yeah. But still, I mean, this is still remarkably close, and that's the second stock in a row that Chris has closed out with Andal. Uh -huh. We are last stock game three. This would and be, that was 50%. And that was 50%, <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Steve. Wow. Oh, man. I mean, I, I feel like looking at just Sever's movement, he's picked up a lot. He's dash dancing faster than he has ever before in this set. You can feel... Maybe like, he does not. I mean, neither I'm not of these gonna say obviously... desperation, but definitely like I need to pick up my play yeah, right like, now. Neither really of badly. these players want to lose this. Lose oh, oh no Sever's way! gonna miss attack, that's and it. that's a huge upset. Chris takes it over Sever. Chris takes it game three. That was crazy. That was such a creative. Like obviously, I that's been done before, yes. but still, <laughs> just the presence of mind to set up that kind of creative little uh, ledge trap or just. Spike situation. And he hadn't shown that at all yeah. for the rest of the he set. Had like, he had not gone sleeve. for anything even for close the entire to that. set. Yeah. yeah. 
So, I mean, yeah, obviously Sever's not going to be ready for it. He just hasn't hadn't seen done it, it yet. He hasn't done it, exactly. Jeez. <laughs> and that was an abrupt ending. Yeah. It felt like like yeah. it wasn't anticlimactic, uh -huh. but I was expecting more. Yeah. <laughs> and all of a sudden, he's dead. It's over. <laughs> wow. I mean, yeah, Steve, a character that is just able to do that sometimes, just make your stocks disappear. Yeah, I... Both those characters can oh, yeah. kill you alarmingly early. And that's just the nature of like every high tier and top tier in this game. Like yeah. they have a way to just